you guys welcome back to my channel I am the Carrie camp on Instagram if you want to go follow me there you guys are gonna get the full healed look on Instagram I'm gonna do a little story on it um, they are still scabbed the scabs are starting to come off like right here you can see um, but yeah I love the color of them I love the look of them the shape all of that kind of stuff she is such an amazing person um, it's brow.girl on Instagram if you want to go and follow her, ask her any questions. I've asked her a lot of questions in this video, so uh, feel free to watch the rest of the video and check out how she does my brows, all of that fun stuff. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below, but without further ado, let's show you how I got these beautiful brows. <laughs> okay, I'm in here, my eyebrows are getting numbed right now. Ready for my touch up. Woo, here we go. I should just keep my eyebrows like this. So can you tell them like what the difference between microblading and powdering is? So I get that all the time. Powder, I'm using a machine with a single needle and the technique that I'm doing is more of a shading technique whereas microblading, it's not a machine that, I, that you use, it's, it's a manual pen and microblading you do hair strokes. The powder brows, I fill, I shade the entire brow, which gives it like a powdery effect. That's why we call it powder brows. A lot of times people might call it ombre powder brows because you can do an ombre effect where it's lighter in the front and oh. it goes darker towards the tail. And when it heals, it just gives you like a really natural look. Like this is this part here, we didn't, we didn't do anything yet, but it just looks like she used like a pencil to fill it in. Um, we're going for more of a darker look here, darker and bolder. Yeah. But with powder brows, you have the option of doing it really natural or super dark and intense. Lots of options. And how long does it last? It uh, lasts two to three years and you're doing like an eight month touch up right now. You said the yeah. last time. Yeah. So, but like even without the eight month, like she could still go. Longer. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But it's everyone's preference. Like, if you feel like, you know, you want a color refresh, you can always come back in for a touch-up anytime. And what is, like, typical cost? Because that's another question I always get. So, brand new set is $450 plus... Sorry. $450. Um, that includes the uh, two-month touch-up. And then after the touch touch up, your your brows should last for two to three years, depending on your skin type. And then I offer three months, six months, one year touch ups. Anything after one year will be considered a new set of brows. And then you'd have to come back after six months and uh, get a second touch up as well, or yeah. So oh, okay. A brand new set of brows that will be the four fifty plus the touch up included. Right. Okay. It's worth every penny, you guys, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I've done my research, she's the best, so. The more people do um, microblading as opposed to powdering, or do you find the other way around? So microblading, it, like it's been around longer, and that's what everybody kind of knows when they go, oh, I'm getting my eyebrows done, microblading. Mm -hmm. um, powder brows is fairly new in Toronto, but it's pretty much the go-to thing that everybody likes these days because um, it gives you more of like a defined, clean brow look and it's more fuller, whereas the microblading is more to give your brows a more natural more natural you're not gonna get like that that shape that sharp shape that you're looking for it's pretty much to fill in uh, sparse areas and just give you more hair like look oh okay how much is um, microblading if that's what they they choose so microblading my price is the same as the powder brows is 450 oh okay which, which includes the one touch-up as well perfect and how's healing with both of them uh, healing is the same. It's about, on average, 7 to 10 days. 
And what do you expect when you're healing? Uh, usually around like day two, your brows will look really dark because the pigment starts to oxidize. And then around day four, day five, your brows will start to scab. It's 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 going to be somewhat like a tattoo. It'll start to scab and it'll peel off. So it's very important that during this time you don't pick off your scabs. Because if you pick it off, the pigment will come off with it. And then you can't get your brows wet. Like a splash of water is okay, but just don't soak it in water. Um, and you can't put anything on your eyebrows, no swimming, you can't work out because if you're sweating a lot, you're going to push the pigment out. Um, that's that's the hardest part for me is not working out. <laughs> yeah, and you can expect a, like a little bit of bleeding. You're bleeding just a little bit over here, which is absolutely normal. Okay. But um, for in terms of pain, like how do you feel? Uh, I can't feel anything. Yeah. Like, I feel like more, I guess, scratching than... It's not painful at all, yet. How long does it usually take to do the full set? The full set, if it's your first appointment, the full set will be about two hours. When you come back for your touch-up, the touch-up appointment is usually around one hour. And what can they expect um, when they first come in for that like first appointment? So when you first come in, I'm gonna apply the numbing on your, I'll apply the pre-numbing on your on your brows. Um, that takes about 15 to 20 minutes to set in, um, and then I'll remove it. And then using a a wax pencil, I will draw in a brow shape that I think suits your face, and then. We'll go from there and you tell me what you like, what you don't like. We work together to get the perfect brow shape for you. And then we'll do a few color swatches of pigments to see what suits your skin tone, but at the same time complements your hair color. And of course has to match your brow hairs because we don't want something total opposite because of that won't look natural at all. <laughs> yeah. And then when you're happy with the way the brow shape looks and the color, we'll get started. We don't start anything until you're happy with the brow shape and the brow color. That's very different from other people that I've been to. Like, typically they just draw on lines, mm -hmm. whereas you actually colored in the brow and showed me exactly what it was going to look like before any ink got put on, which I really appreciated. It is your face, so we want to make sure you guys We're good. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to start anything until you're happy. Semi-permanent, people. <laughs> if somebody went too thick for the first time and they end up wanting to tone it down, is that possible? If you went too thick on your first appointment and you want it thinner at the touch-up, there's no way to go back. Okay. That's why I, I Start always, then. my advice is, to, especially when you're going from having like no brows to ha getting brows, my advice is to, is to always just go smaller, go lighter on your first appointment, get used to having the brows, and then, you know, when you feel comfortable with it and you want to go thicker or want to go darker, we can always do that at the touch-up. But we can't go backwards. It's easier to go darker, but you can't go back from dark to light. Yeah. So just to give you guys an update on this eyebrow, she's been going up for about eight minutes and I am feeling a little bit of burning, but it's not super painful. And now she's just applying some of that numbing cream, I think. 
this is the pigment. I'm gonna. I'm oh, gonna the pigment. Apply, sorry. I'm gonna apply a numbing gel, which works instantly. So throughout the procedure, I do use another numbing agent, and I try to make it as comfortable as possible for you. You should feel little to no pain. And this is gonna sting a little bit. In 30 seconds, it will. You won't feel anything. I think I should just like do the whole unibrow thing. That looks hot. <laughs> this is the new thing. <laughs> Beautiful. Totally model like this, right? <laughs> so that's pretty much all it is. That's all the information. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna show you guys um, my healing and how it's how they've healed and all that kind of stuff. But that's it for what you guys get to see in the room. She just continues to do the same thing over and over again. I don't want to bore you. <laughs> Hey guys, this is day one of the healing of my brows. There's no scabbing happening yet. I think that they look, they look awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did get them a little bit thicker. They are super dark, so they will go down a little bit in color, but overall, I'm super happy with this, um, like she said yesterday in the video, uh, this is my eight month checkup. So I got it done about eight months ago, went back for my touch up, uh, and now I just went back for this touch up. Um, I did want them a little bit thicker and um, a little bit darker. So now that I've had them for eight months, I kind of know what I want and what I didn't want and all that kind of stuff. So. I was able to perfect them. So here's day one. I'm going to do like a daily little checkup every day for the next week. And then um, on Tuesday, I will post it. So you guys are watching it today on Tuesday. <laughs> but yeah, this is day one. If you have any questions, let me know. Mwah. All right, guys, this is day three of the eyebrows. They're still like super tender when I move them, but uh, like it doesn't hurt or anything. It just like when you sneeze or something and you really pull it, it just feels like it's stretching a little bit. Um, it is starting to scab out here a little bit. Not so much on this side, like just right here because she had to redo the tail because I have a scar right here. So she had to redo the tail, pretty much the whole tail. So. Day three, loving how the color of them actually, like when I have my makeup on and stuff, I really like how dark they are, but they will lighten still. Um, yeah. Day three. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you another update. This is day five. Um, my eyebrows are um, all scabbed now, like they're all just scabs. Try and get as close as I can for you. Um, they've been really itchy like yesterday and this morning. So basically what I do is I just pet them. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. That's what I do. So yeah, they're just healing. Um, and they look great. I love the look of them. What do you guys think? You guys like the look of them? <laughs> um, yeah. Here's day five. I'll do a one week update date next. Hey! <laughs> All right, here is a week after my eyebrows are done. You can see that there are parts of my eyebrows that are starting to peel. The scab is starting to peel off. They have completely scabbed over. But one week, this week I get to finally start working out again, which is gonna be nice. 
I've missed that, but yeah, pretty soon they're just going to look like normal eyebrows and, and, and Carrie's going to have a good time. Anyway, this will be the last video, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, making sure that you are liking and subscribing to my channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you on Thursday night for the sneak peek of your big sister's closet. Bye!